boom. It's kind of what I'm hoping is happening Monday. I won't do that again. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sort of was hoping that Bob there was 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 Aaron Rodgers, and I was take your pick: Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, uh, Richard Sherman, Richard Sherman, Brandon Browner, sure, yeah, the Legion. And that's uh, in a nutshell, as far as I'm concerned, this is the key matchup of, of of the game. This will determine whether or not the Seahawks win. My opinion, anyway, you cannot possibly win if Aaron Rodgers is able to conjure up the Aaron Rodgers of last year, who we haven't quite seen this year, and. I think everyone expects to see, but last year we're talking about a guy who was off the charts. Uh, 37, 38 touchdowns, four interceptions, was the best quarterback in the game, and a lot of people like you consider him that right now, and for good reason. He struggled so far, and boy, in my opinion, for the Seahawks to win this game, I mean, job one means you've got to contain him. And it's weird to say contain him, but you do. You got He's not going to run on you or anything like that, but you've got to control Aaron Rodgers if you can, I think, to have a chance in this game. Yeah, and he's actually a guy that does run quite well. He's not fast, but he's very shifty and he can extend plays. And You just don't want him to become Aaron Rodgers this week. He has yet to be that guy as you talked about, and you don't want him to find that groove or find that rhythm against Seattle. And it seems unlikely on the road in this stadium with the, with the noise that's going to be there. Jennings is still a question mark with a groin injury that he hurt in the, the season opener, so that's his main weapon that's questionable at best going into this game, and maybe over the weekend the news will change. But, you know, I, I just think that the that is the key mate matchup. We talked about, well, is it Marshawn versus their run defense? Is it their run def the Seahawks' run defense versus Cedric Benson? And they're all important, of sure. course. you got to get that run game going to take pressure off Russell Wilson. But you just can't allow what I think, as you said, the best quarterback in the NFL to find his rhythm. You no. can't allow him to get hot because he's got – even without Jennings, you still got a lot of weapons there with Jones and Jermichael Finley and Donald Driver and even Cedric Benson. So he's got a way to exploit a secondary, a very good secondary, and even even one like the Legion of Boom if he gets rolling. Well, I think we're going to see a, 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 an interesting and maybe a little bit of a different approach from from Gus Bradley in here too. Because how do you go about doing this? And you know, last week the the Packers did beat the Bears, but the Bears got to Aaron Rodgers five times and and. I'm sure it's the same book for every quarterback. If you can pressure, if you can knock him around, mm -hmm. you know that's a good thing. I think it's almost as important for, and this is why it's great to have those big physical corners as they know about in Green Bay, right, as we right, discussed right. yesterday. But it's just a question of knocking guys off stride, messing with Aaron Rodgers' timing a little bit is, is number one. And number two, Bob, I think we're going to see him cut loose on some blitzes. I mean, I do think we're going to see them put some pressure on and pressure with guys like Earl Thomas, like Cam Chancellor, guys who can deliver the boom. Said you weren't going to do that. When again. they get there, I'm sorry. <laughs>